Hi, it is Marie and I am back again today with another video, but I am also back in school, or back at school. School hasn't started yet. Um, but today I thought I'd talk about uh, energy and exercise with cerebral palsy. Um, now I use about uh, two times more uh, energy to do just everything um, than the uh, average able-bodied able person um, and from what I read um, that's pretty pretty typical among people with cerebral palsy it's it's like two three times more um, the amount of energy is what's typically reported um, I actually found out that I use two times more the energy. Um, when I was eight, I went down to the hospital just to do some tests. Uh, it was called the Gate Lab, and so they hooked up all these wires to me, um, and I had to uh, walk in a straight line and back and walk all over the room. Um, and I, they somehow animated me from that and somehow figured it out. I don't know. I do not do all that technical medical uh, stuff. Uh, but yes, I use uh, twice the amount of energy uh, as the normal able-bodied able person, let's say. Um, and, and, and so I do get tired often. Um, it's, I think it's more um, something to do with my blood sugar, like I can feel feel it start happening to me and I just kind of get out of it and I get tired uh, and I get lightheaded and you know it's like I, I need I need food, I need fuel um, and I think it happened it happened uh, a lot more as I'm getting older. Um, you know I feel um, more drained throughout the day, um, just with the whole blood sugar thing, feeling lightheaded, um, and whatever. Um, but yeah, so I guess uh, the next logical thing then to talk about is exercise, um, because, you know, they're somewhat correlated. Um, and so, um, for me, growing up, I really, I loved basketball. I didn't really play on a team until I was in sixth grade, um, but I would just go out by myself and just shoot baskets. Uh, and I became really good at it um, because I would do it all day, every day, uh, during the summer and spring um, and fall. Um, and so, um, I also swam. I still like to swim. Nothing competitive. I just like uh, the freedom that the water gives. It just feels kind of like you're free and you know you can do anything in the water. Um, but other than that, I um, gym class, I mean I would do everything everyone else did, especially in elementary school. Um, and I think my gym teacher knew uh, what I was capable of and what I wanted to do and what I wanted to do was be with my peers and participate in the same way as they could uh, as much as possible and for the most part that was the case. Uh, the only time I really needed assistance was when I, uh, we were rollerblading, uh, then, then they had someone come in and help me. Um, but a lot of the times my friends uh, and other people in my class uh, just took my hand and, and helped me rollerblade. Um, and when I say having cerebral palsy, um, you meet or you find the good in people. Um, I really, I think I really found that in, in gym class, you know, people willing to assist me and help me. Um, but other than that, I think it, it changed once I got into high school, um, once I, or even junior high, because there started to be more complex things that I couldn't do. 
um, and the gym teachers didn't really know me. Um, and so I got a lot more special accommodations, which I didn't really enjoy. Um, but you know, it's, it's fast paced and you know, you, you can't always keep up uh, when it gets so complex. Um, but yeah, I always just kind of wanted to be in, in the whole mix with my peers. Um, and I didn't want to be treated any differently. Um, and, and yeah, I mean, now I, I don't exercise at all, um, honestly. Um, I used to, I liked to run, I liked to ride my bike, um, except I ran so much when I was 8th grade, ninth grade, uh, that I got, like, a really bad thing of runner's knee, and I think some of that might be from the CP, some of that might be genetic, um, but it's like now every time I run, it's like my knee is just uh, giving out and I, my right knee especially because all that weight comes down on my right side of my body. Um, and so I don't really run because it's so painful and because I need to protect my knee. Um, so maybe down the road I'll get that checked out, who knows. Um, but yeah, I don't really exercise a whole lot now. Um, maybe I should, um, but I don't know. Um, I just think I, I use my energy throughout the day and I, I get enough done doing daily things. Um, and so that is all. I will see you in the next video. Bye.